Okay, Doki. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Profiteer early morning European session video. Today we're going to go pretty much through the basic analysis process. And the first thing we're going to look at is uh, top stories in the current news right now are other than the economic data that we just got out of Europe, we got an expansion on uh, Turkey CPI, expansion on the um, housing price index in the UK, and the CPI for France was an expansion. So overall good economic stability there. But if you may have noticed, this here is the number one bit of news circulating um, as, of, uh, as of about 8 o'clock last night. So reports came in that this militant who's a supreme leader was killed in the um, U.S. caused airstrike. So really seeing a accelerated move across all asset classes. Um, of course, it's just a technical move that's been accelerated by news, and that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. Um, let's go over to the charts. So I'm going to go over kind of my favorite setups for the day. And currently my favorite setup is the Ultra Bond. So the 30-year yield on the um, government bond debt is trading well below um, where it had been for pretty much the entire kind of close of the year. So I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this uh, 2.5 level. If we manage to hold that level, then I'll be looking to short this P shape kind of really textbook sort of p-shape here that I'm looking out for on the TPO chart you can see I'll embellish that here and it kind of looks just like a P and filling out this sort of liquidity that we ran through yesterday it might not happen today but um, yesterday's target was hit overnight with the news at 84 uh, 430 seconds so initially patience is going to be the key in developing an entry that kind of allows us to either fill up that liquidity that we've shown here or alternatively if this does manage to push higher on some news there is room, if you will, to fill out a bit more to the upside, um, kind of in this, just above this sort of ceiling of resistance at 185, 18, 30 seconds. And looking at the, really the best measure, which is the 10-2, you can see that um, the same sort of gap down has occurred. So initially, We'll be keeping out for, uh, or we'll be keeping an eye out for any fundamental updates and kind of how this um, large sort of selling reacts. Um, if we do see a turn in overall equity markets and risk-based assets, then bonds will likely uh, head to the upside. So overall, no bias on either side. Just a clear setup um, off of this sort of in balanced um, profile. My other favorite setup at the moment um, is going to be gold. Gold has outperformed this year, obviously, with um, kind of a lot of that risk uncertainty that's been going on within the markets. And now that we're sort of reaching this point of, okay, we're in a new year, fiscal and monetary policy are still 
quite um, inappropriate in my opinion overall an asset like gold that doesn't need to rely on central bank liquidity is see um, quite the upside here so the setup is pretty simple um, we're basically looking for intraday pullbacks on a um, technical level really on the order flow and we're looking for kind of a retest of um, this sort of 1520 line this area got through um, trading really quickly in a short amount of time so I wouldn't be surprised to see any kind of risk risk based um, sort of inclination cause maybe an, an, a balance here um, other than that obviously crude oil saw quite a bit up yesterday off of the Iraqi news um, currency markets against the dollar remain in rotation I won't get too in, into each setup to keep it simple and to keep you guys to kind of focused so again kind of the star of the day and but most likely kind of the star of my streams will be the ultra pond and um, other than that I'll keep you guys updated on developments today with fundamentals and of course with the technical setups um, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your trading day